Okay, here covering set of games, a match of games, between Single T and RTT. We fight for the hat. Um, what's going on here? Lackey's probably strong as normal. These are the only plus buy, and Lackey's is the only draw. Um, which means there is actually no draw in terms of how Adam would define draw. Um, yeah. Well, there kind of is, right? You, you can for a while, but then the, once the villagers run out, there isn't any. There's also giant. There's bandit fort, which makes you kind of not want to play with gold and silver, which kind of makes this card look better. But probably giant is going to be quite important here. It's a big source of economy. Um, Ducket probably also looks better than normal. I think taking a silver, yeah, makes a substantial amount of, amount of sense. Silos and Guide have a kind of interesting interaction, although I, I'm not so huge on silos here. But maybe it's okay. There's Lackeys. I could see Ironworks here. Yeah. And I'd try to get a couple um, guides, I think. And as well as, yeah, for sure, some, some lackeys. The ducats are going to help you hit eight. This is not going to be a multi-province game. It's just going to be single province turns at the high end of what you're doing. Yeah. So I like RTT's position. Imagine this is another giant. Yeah. I'd probably pick up a guide here. But I could see lackeys actually also. And RTT is going to have a similar kind of choice this turn. I don't know how many giants you can actually get. And yeah, there's a royal seal. Um, trying to remember what. Trying to remember what single T's last cards are here. My guess is you don't trigger this shuffle. And if you would have known that it would have been the giant there, yeah, maybe you find it anyway, just because. I think I would just go ahead and probably buy province here. Um, although I could see, like, farmland. No, I'd probably go farmland. Farmland a copper into, uh, well, you could take a ducat or a lackey, so I'm not sure which is better. But the province is reasonable. RTT picked up... Okay, so that was the second giant for RTT. I think here I'd just take a guide. Yeah. And six here. He just spends the coffers and takes the province already. And I guess... I guess it is time for that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd play this lackeys. I'd probably buy another lackeys here. He takes the guide, which is obviously fine. RTT didn't take anything. Again, you could think about lackeys there, but it's very difficult. Um, lots of curses here that RTT has. Single T looks to be well ahead, although, like I said, more or less like how RTT has played it. So what do I know? I don't know. It's possible that uh, I'm wrong. It's also possible that just the draws have gone in such a way that they've favored the single T over the RTT. OK, another guide there. I think I probably would have taken lackeys instead. Here for RTT, yeah, I don't really like spending all of these coffers, so the lackeys makes sense. OK. 
Okay. Now RTT is going to Ironworks. I'd probably just be jamming lackeys at this point. Oh, he's not going to play the Ironworks, but it was free to do so. Like you get the action back that you used to play the giant. I don't, this makes no sense to me. Surely it's better to have a lackeys in your deck than not. I think that was just a mistake. It's not like a pile out's going to come and I mean, if nothing else, guide has got to be better, right? Yeah. Single T should probably start duchying. But yeah, that is an option. Estate is interesting ish for RTT. This is not enough, but you can farmland this into probably a lackeys, which you can then top deck with your seal. You can also top deck the farmland maybe? He doesn't. Yeah, it's probably better not to. Buys a copper. I'm not a big fan of buying a copper. Yeah, single T runs back this play. RTT is going to province here, I assume. I'm not sure at what point you call these guides, because I think it's before now, to be totally honest with you. Um, this should probably be in a state here for single T. Yeah. And... RTT should probably just province here because he needs both of them to win, basically. Yeah, so I like that play. It's not going to work out for him. Single T just provinces here and wins. But I think that was a good call on RTT's side. Um, yeah, okay. Well, that was a little bit wild. Um, a lot of curses went over to RTT, a lot more than went to single T, and I'm not exactly sure what it was and how they played that made that so incredibly imbalanced. Um, yeah, no, that's probably, that's probably right. Too many ducats, too many ducats. Okay. Um, so gear and butcher and borrow um, all help a money deck be pretty fast. Den is fine. Um, Soothsayer pulls you a little more money-ish as well. But Apprentice and Junk Dealer and to some extent Rat Catcher also look, look strong. Um, there's a number of reasonably good options here for your five. Yeah, I think Butcher is, well, it's certainly one of them. Um, I think if you're going Butcher, you're going to play, that suggests that you're playing a little more money-ish. And if you were playing to try to draw more, you'd be playing more Apprentice Junk Dealer. But given the lack of plus buy, I think just doing as they've done makes a lot of sense. I also like getting the Rat Catcher on two there. Um, on three, I guess the gear is fine. I like getting the den as well because this, this way you get to trigger this shuffle. Um, there's some interesting decisions on coffers versus borrow. Um, I think in general, a card is very close to being as valuable as a coffer, so it's really hard to know exactly. Um, but, oh, I don't think I would have spent up for the 
Ironmonger there. I think I would have just taken Ratcatcher and then, like, I'd be wanting to get some silvers at some point pretty soon here. But this is fine. Soothsayer. Yeah, Soothsayer's kind of reasonable anyway. Um, I think this might be a little bit much terminal. Um, yeah. So you save Butcher and Ironmonger, I guess. I think this is a little bit too much in terms of terminals from RTT's side. One gear is fine, but... Um, the thing about the Soothsayer is the, with the Rat Catcher, and I assume there's going to be more than one Rat Catcher here pretty soon, especially given that this has happened. Um, I would butcher the estate into a Rat Catcher here. Oh, so RTT wants to draw more. I'm not a huge fan of this decision. I think I'd be playing a little more money-ish. Um, the junk dealer also is obviously another way to try to clean this stuff up, but I would not be trying to make my ironmongers into villages just so I could draw a little more extra with my gears and stuff. I'd just be saying, let us let me take some treasures, let me use my borrow, let me use my butcher and my coffers more effectively, and, and just get some provinces and power, power through quickly. Um, Yeah, again, it's not happening here for RTT. Now, it looks like he may be taking like a couple more Ironmongers here, at which point he'll have pretty good action density. Um, also doesn't work too well with the Dens. Okay, yeah, so here he just gives up on this gear, which is actually a decision I like. Um, but... Yeah, it looks to me that the three rat catchers and the earlier soothsayer, um, single T looks to be well ahead right now. Uh, obviously, you save butcher and yeah, copper versus gold is not clear there, but I tend to lean towards the way he did it. Yeah, and this is also this issue. Um, at some point, I'd be stopping to play, stopping playing these soothsayers, though, and just like butchering them into something more useful. Um, two junk dealers feels like a lot of junk dealers. Still feels like a ton of terminals as well. Um, well, I assume this is just province. You don't have time to do much else. I would not have discarded that gold with that ironmonger. Don't like that at all. Save ironmonger. And Butcher? He wants to buy something here. Okay. I think this last couple turns have helped RTT. It's particularly Single T's last turn, I guess. Um, so he's still behind, I think, but it's like significantly closer. Um, okay, den. I don't think I would have discarded the den. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you keep the den. Den is too good not to keep. 
Okay, you keep that. Ironmonger, you discard the copper, of course. Soothsayer, and buy a silver. <laughs> yeah, not a big fan of the gear. Um, not also sure about like trashing all of these coppers. In general, it's nice to trash them, but it's getting close to the point in the game where it's really starting to be kind of close. Um, I'd probably still do it, I guess, but it's it's close, but especially to do like a lot of them, I don't know. Um, so he's going to play both of these and going to turn that gold into a province? I don't like that at all. Like, effectively there, he spent a token to turn a gold into an Ironmonger. I think gold is a better card than an Ironmonger, and I definitely wouldn't have spent a token, like, either way. RTT's still not getting his terminals together. Just turn the Soothsayer into a den. Yeah, maybe he just has to double, I guess. Probably does. I think he should take the province here. His deck is just too unlikely to be able to to do enough later if he doesn't now. He just has to hope, I believe. I mean, what you're trying to dodge is single T being able to find his butcher, trash the butcher, or trash province into province and as well province. Um, which I guess is, you know, reasonably likely, but I don't know that he can really win if single T does that now anyway, right? I don't think he can. I would have held a gold there. It doesn't matter though. He finds what he needs to, more or less. Um, well, it does matter a little bit, right? You said the, yeah, okay. And you play the Soothsayer, I think, is better than not playing it. And yeah, RTT just can't catch up. Um, Soothsayer, you, I guess, keep. Save gold. Oh, I was thinking that you would butcher differently, because you've got a butcher into duchy by duchy, and then the next turn, province duchy gets you to 19. That's not even enough. Yeah, he could have saved different. It doesn't matter. Keep the gold, because the gold guaranteed you eight. All right. Okay, Triumph is a lot of points. Goons is more points. Colony is a lot of points, but less points than the other stuff, I think. However, I'm wrong about that. There's no village here. So there's no village here. So you're going to lean pretty heavily on Storyteller. And a lot of merchants. And colonies get a lot more important. You still want to have a discard attack. Probably you make that goons um, instead of Margrave. Uh, merchant remake. I don't know. I could think I'd go for silver remake. 
because you want to hit five and you're going to want like a decent number of silvers anywhere your merchants don't do anything so yeah um i'm not sure exactly what you're seeing that seems so much better on five than storyteller maybe it's butcher um but i think like terminal space wise you're not really going to want to have the butcher long term you're going to want to have a remake so I kind of like the storyteller TBH. Yeah, and you remake up here. What I'm actually less a fan of is the courtyard, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, I would be getting at least two or three silvers, um, but having merchants is obviously also very good. So I don't know. Yeah, the flag's gonna be interesting. Flag's definitely gonna be interesting. You gotta get another silver, right? No, he doesn't. I think having the flag this long is a big advantage for single T. It's gonna be a goons, yeah. Platinum? Yep. And I think this has to be goons and buy the flag. It feels pretty bad though. Buy the flag. I mean buy a flag bearer, but basically you're doing that to buy the flag. And then single T will be looking probably to remake his flag bearer into another storyteller at some point, even though that costs him from goons. The flag is a little bit less important if you're getting discard attacked down to three every turn, but it's still not nothing. Um, RTT takes the flag here. I think as single T, I probably just take another storyteller. And now on nine is single T, I'd probably, well, yeah, no, trashing and buying the storyteller like this is probably better. Um, place over this turn yeah yeah so you want to play all the merchants you can before oh there's colonnade get a copy of them. okay I don't know that that's certainly super important but yeah merchant storyteller with the silvers is a little bit on Uswal. um I'd probably remake here copper flag bearer into storyteller and then um, buy a storyteller. This way you gotta take the flag back. Of course RTT is probably gonna do the same thing back to you. Yeah, buying a gold might be better than buying yet another storyteller, but I'm also not necessarily convinced that uh, this play is bad. 10, I'd probably get two storytellers. So yeah, now this merchant doesn't do anything. None of these merchants do. And RTT, what? He's just gonna remake the coppers here. Ooh, remaking that flag bearer while you still have the flag feels kind of bad. Because now when Single T remakes his, um, it's going to be... Well, this is not a great draw, though. Yeah, I like the goons here. Let's see if he takes a... I think I'd actually just take the last two story to... No, maybe I wouldn't. Just a platinum, just a platinum. Yeah, because you want to remake this, this guy. Just 
storyteller, don't fade it a copper. Yeah. RTT should probably take another silver here. Yes, okay. Just can trip these storytellers. I mean, you're going to play the one like that, but I would have waited. Wow. That seems like a bit of an early resign to me. I, I do think he was behind, but not very far behind. I guess he's kind of far behind. He didn't have the platinums or whatever, but... Mm, this is fun. Cathedral, which is super strong, although it doesn't work very well with Fountain. Not sure that that's going to matter. Um, there's plenty of ways to gain extra stuff here, and actually Lurker means you could, you know, just trash. Grave Robber, same thing, right? You can trash a, a thing. So I think it's got to be worth it to Cathedral, um, like it normally is. Um, but... Yeah, and now RTT actually already has an interesting decision on whether to trash this Overgrown or, yeah, the Necro or the Copper. And I think I like trashing the Necro. Um, you're not going to need the Necro. You're going to be able to trash other stuff later. Yeah, DW makes some kind of sense. And now... DW here. Could have been like double lurker or lurker peasant also. Um, trashing this overgrown is nice. Uh, you want to start to pick up some draw stuff now though. So you could get a bunch of farming villages. Getting a peasant at some moment is, is good. This is a nice spot to get to your soldier super early. Um, yeah, now on RTT spot, he needs to figure out, like, what am I doing this game? Um, he's going to want more Peasant, but he also, I think Grave Robber is probably the strongest payload. Um, you're going to have plenty of draw. Um, But, okay, count is odd. It lets you get extra gains for your DW. Um, I guess it lets you get coppers for fountain, but I think that's a pipe dream. Um, not sure about getting a second DW, like you're gonna get a ton of draw very fast. Uh, I think here I would, like, gain a copper, take the money, buy a peasant. Maybe not a peasant. Maybe a... Probably a peasant. Take an imp. Yeah. Farming village makes some sense as well. Now, you could discard. There's really no reason, I think, to gain a copper here, so I'd probably discard and take the money. Um, I guess you can top deck, right? If you want to make sure you have a copper to trash, but I'm not worried about that yet. Whoa! Okay, so he's trashing much faster because Cathedral ain't fast enough for him. Maybe that's good. RTT needs to get more peasant stuff up and running, though, I think. I mean, I guess he doesn't, strictly speaking, have to. He, he's going to be taking, uh, I think you top deck something. No, because you want to gain a cop? Anyway, he sh you should take teacher here. But that means you're going to want to get a peasant back.
किया um, Have I been thinking RTT has been on the top the whole time? I think I have. So all of my comments probably make very little sense in regards to who is who. <laughs> because uh, I've been looking at, I've been making all these comments about what Single T is doing, and I think I've been saying that RTT's been doing them, because I thought he thought he was at, I think I thought he was at the top, and anyway, yeah, it just it doesn't make sense. Apologies on that. Um, well, you farm. Oh, right, you've done that, so you got to farm now. Okay. I think you gain the copper there, honestly. You definitely buy multiple things here anyway. Um, you're going to need stuff to trash pretty quick here if you're single T. She's going to have that. RTT is building to be able to go a little bit bigger. See if he disciples the peasant or the... Yeah, the soldier. Now this could be farming village hound, okay. I think he should also take teacher. Yeah, you basically just up the level on everything. Now this is gonna be money or buys, I think, on the farming villages. Probably money, yep. Soldier, probably. Peasant, interesting. Interesting. Um, well, he needs to buy two things again. It's not so much about getting an imp, but about having food. Sage. Sage? Okay, I guess he wants more different cards. He's going to need enough money to get up to throne room. And once he gets there... Sorry, I just hit a button on my microphone. I said once he gets there, he's going to be in good shape. So he can get to a throne room. But um, this is giving RTT some amount of time to start coming back. Yeah, that's a unfortunate interaction there for RTT. Having a couple of soldiers is really big. Um, you slap your teacher down here. You buy one thing and then you gain a peasant. What is the thing? That's the thing. You gain a peasant, right? No, he just wants to empty out those farming villages. So he has a seven. That's a big lead on the farming villages. But he's going to need... Yeah, I'm not sure what he does here, because he needs extra gains ASAP, but I don't really think you want to, like, put your plus buy token on the farming villages. I guess you could, and that is going to be a way that you can, like, get Fountain at the end. Kind of, sort of, maybe? I uh, don't know about that. But Single T is going to have somewhat of a problem here because he's just low on actions. Um, he really needs to take a throne room here. Good news, good news for Single T is that he can just start trashing some of these imps, really. He has so many, and he doesn't need them all. He turns his fugitive, a soldier into fugitive, but peasant into soldier also. Oh, they both put plus card on farming village. I don't know why I was thinking it was coin. 
C is, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, not super high on that, but I guess it's okay. Oh, it's 8-2? I was thinking it was 7-3, but you're right. Um, so you buy a count, a grave robber. You gain a throne room or a peasant, and obviously you're going to take an imp. Yeah, okay. I like keeping the soldiers. I think you trash imp here before you trash hound. The main reason for that is uh, you're going to want to stick a token on hound. Uh huh. Place teacher, soldier. Well, this I guess helps in that you don't have to play teacher. You discard the workshop because you can get it back later. I quite like RTT's position at this point. Um, Dex and imp, okay. Gains a Dutch what? Okay. I'm not a fan of gaining duchy that much, but I guess it's something you can feed to your cathedral at some point. Um. And he wasn't using the money, so it makes sense. Um, RTT, I think, is basically just winning here. Count, gain copper, gain duchy. He takes the money. Interesting. So you buy a peasant and a something, you turn one of your soldiers into a fugitive and one of your, well, and your peasant back into a soldier. I don't know what the something should be, though. I think that's the way you do it, though. You want to have, you want to have, um, disciple again. I'm also still thinking about whether RTT can, it's probably too involved at this point, but I was thinking if he puts plus buy on farming village, he has very close to enough buys at that point just from his, his villages to be able to, um, to be able to, um, get up to fountain. Uh, buy on throne room. That's also a thing you can do. Disciple the sage or the count? Okay. Throne room the soldier? Yeah. This is nice. Okay, takes the money. Throne room, uh huh. Hound, yup. Imp, yup. This all makes sense on single T's side. Um, you gonna trash Hound here, I think. Feels pretty bad, but.
I guess uh, I guess this makes sense. He is strong enough, but fugitive. I still think RTT should be very much ahead here. Okay. Throne room makes sense. Grave robber, uh-huh. Get like more hound. Kind of like more hound, but he's also going to need some uh, econ at some point. Um, pretty soon, uh, these workshops are going to be the thing to trash. So he just takes a throne room. That's okay, I guess. The imps are gone, so the the workshops are pretty useless. Uh, you turn the fugitive into a disciple, but keep the rest. Oh, he had a peasant that he turned into a soldier, which is the last soldier. He's going to have a lot of money. But, okay. Now, obviously, if RTT has to discard here, it should be the Grave Robber and the Soldier. You trash the Copper and then draw, draw, draw. Is he actually going for Fountain? I just don't see him being able to... He can't pile out this turn, surely. Yeah, he definitely can't, but pretty soon, maybe. So this could be... I mean, he could take Fountain now, I would not recommend. Um... Hound... I think he wants a Hound, he could take lurker, he could take some coppers, he could take... Does he want to take a province? He needs to make sure that he's going to keep enough draw, because he, he does have a little bit of overdraw now, but that doesn't necessarily maintain into the future if you start adding a lot of stop cards to your deck. So I think I would go like one province, and then you have ten money to play with. You can go like throne room, throne room, hound, or throne room, hound, lurker, lurker throne room hound hound lurker or something like that um, one province one province I think makes sense because you you help to stop RTT from piling out on you I don't know how close RTT is act to actually doing that um, and maybe it's just totally safe um, RTT could, how close is he to piling, right? If he, he has a lot of gains with, gains stuff with throning hounds or discipling hounds that gets him a ton of buys. Um, okay, I think I would have gotten like maybe one more copper than he did thrown the hounds, except I think you wanted to imp earlier in your turn, right? 
yeah, you wanted to imp earlier in your turn, so you could imp a throne room. You could maybe imp hound. So I'm not a hugest fan of that. Um, okay, now, this is very important. What are you discipling here? He disciples Hound. That gets him a ton of buys. So he's three buys now that'll get him to four, five, six at least. That's probably not enough. Gaining the copper. So he wants to disciple throne. Okay, he wants to draw first. What is he doing with his grave robber here? He's gonna disciple it. Okay. What was that that he just turned into? Teacher. Sure. Okay, now, imp into, no, he's just going to put duchy on his draw pile as a thing to trash for the next turn, I guess. No, he's just going to draw it anyway, he just wants the points. Okay, 20 money, um, province, province. <laughs> I think Single Teeth probably wins his next turn. Let's see, he can stick a, a money or an action token on something. So I think you would call teacher, put action on something. He's more likely to have a problem getting enough actions than he is to have a problem having enough money. If he draws everything, I think he, no, no, he doesn't. He probably doesn't have a win here, actually. Because he's not going to have enough buys, right? I mean, you grave rob something. Is that better than not playing grave robber? Okay, and this is the end of the turn. Womp, 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 womp. Couldn't he have, oh no, he couldn't have played the teacher. Okay, 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 okay. So now our TT looks in much better shape. Just one turn in a game like this is so big. Hmm. I think RTT probably wants to disciple Throne Room here if he's going to be able to. So this is probably count, gain copper, gain, gain copper, take the money. 
he just needs to be able to draw enough stuff. <sighs> He's going to have a decision here. But I'd play the count now. Uh, unless there's something in the trash. Yeah, there's no... There's nothing good in the trash to take. You don't want to take a DW. So... I'd play the count. And I'd take copper and money. And then you have to figure out whether you're playing throne room. He's going to grave robber. I don't like this. Because I think RTT probably has a pile out if he draws. But I don't want to go for that just yet. In case it doesn't work out. He's really going for it. I th think he should throne imp maybe throwing hound is better do you play a count here he will take the money yeah okay now nothing to play but he gets to his villages okay keep playing villages okay now you disciple a throne And throne. Okay, throne a disciple, a throne. Ah, no, this is better, yeah. So, grave robber turns imp into hound. Imp into hound, right? Soldier into hound. Um, I think imp into hound is better than that. Guess it. Oh, you're doing both, right? You're doing both, right? Imp into hound, right? Hound. Yep. Now you disciple a hound. Oh, throne room again. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, yeah, this is easy. This is easy. Grave robber. Oh, well, this works too. I was going to say grave robber hound into hound, but it doesn't really matter. Sadly, this is not going to be a um, fountain, but whatever. He maybe could have had it. I don't know. Probably not. He's... One, two, three. Could have had three, four more than he does. Coppers, at least. Yeah, I think he would have been a little bit short. Anyway, there you go. Well, he put the plus card on farming village before that was going to be a a thing. So I don't know how well those chimes are going to come through on the audio. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have a comment about the chimes of all those players adding adding joining adding adding joining the table super fast. Okay, crop rotation, innovation, patron, what says reveal? This doesn't say reveal, this doesn't say reveal, this doesn't say reveal, this doesn't, this says reveal, okay, and 
I think it's the oh poor house also. Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Uh, anyway, um, the only draw here is crop rotation and storyteller. There's thinning in the form of count, but it can be a little dangerous. Um, I, poor house patron doesn't really work because, yeah, it doesn't. Guide should be good um, as a way to get around ghost ship maybe. Probably, I mean, it's, it's okay-ish anyway. So I think, well, I would at least think about playing, take, playing money ish here, but here with six on turn three, I'm slamming crop rotation. Crop rotation is so good. Uh, the turn one count is also pretty nice, so, or turn two, whatever. Takes innovation instead of crop rotation, which I believe to be a mistake. Um, how good is innovation on this board? Not that good, right? What does it do? Um, it can be useful with count. Kind of with patron or candlestick maker or a little bit. Um, ghost ships, kind of? Guides? Yeah, sure. It's fine, but it doesn't seem super high value to me, and crop rotation did seem super high value. So... Now, obviously, that they both trashed a lot, the uh, crop rotation going to be a bit less... going to be a bit less important, I think. So I think you build some storyteller-based thing. There's the innovation for RTT. Um, and I'm not sure what you do on top of the storyteller-based thing. You probably do something with count. You can top deck a storyteller. You might do something with some ventures and patrons. Um, patron seems good. I think this would just be a storytell. No, he's going for the ghost ship. Interesting. So, if you want extra candlestick makers, then innovation's good for that. But if you're just getting one, then um, when you bought innovation, you could have bought the candlestick maker. You know, I don't know. You gain a copper and trash these, get get pretty thin, get some ventures running. Use a storyteller as his last card. Maybe you don't play this count, I don't know. Maybe you gain a copper and a duchy and buy a crop rotation. I'm okay, that's stupid. Um yeah, I really don't know what to do here. This is where I kinda of really need to think. Really need to think. Okay, he doesn't play the ghost town, he just takes a gold. Okay. Venture has a kind of interesting interaction with them. Um, what's it called? I assume this is going to be top deck patron trash hand. No, he's going to play the patron first. He wants to buy something. And he's going to gain copper trash hand or take the money trash hand. Okay. Well, what's he buying here? Another guide? Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. What's RTT going to do here? 
similar options to last turn, it seems to me. Now, guide seems like I think you want to guide at some point. Obviously, the um, at the moment the crop rotation doesn't look as great, but um, it's going to be good at some point again. Guide. Don't know what you what order you do this in now. I don't remember how many cards are left in his deck. Um, obviously, it doesn't really hurt to patron first. Well. He's going to find his count, so it doesn't really hurt to patron first. In general, I kind of like how Single T is building. He has an extra storyteller. He has, you know, no ghost ship, but he has a couple guides. All of these things I like. Um, but we also can't ignore that... Um, Can't ignore that RTT is up on, on economy by a pretty significant margin at the moment. If I'm RTT, I'd like actually if I'm either of them, I'm thinking about provincing fairly soon. I think the amount of time it's going to take to build from single to double province is not trivial. While you'd like to be able to, um, you know, get something as you're provincing. I think you want a province pretty soon, crop rotation, and mostly single province, and try to maintain your reliability. So I think I think that's a a thing that you could do. All right, I'm gonna be back in a second. Sorry for the little bit of silence. By a second, it's probably gonna be like three or four minutes. Maybe the end of the game. I don't know. Okay, apologies for that. I wonder what I missed. Looks like, I don't know. Both have ghost ships though. Could 
just took a guide. Wow. And he kept two golds and a copper and then bought the guide? He didn't keep more coppers? I don't, don't really understand that. Anyway, um... Province crop rotation. Go. Yeah, probably just province guide. Yep. Very important to, to storyteller the right amount here. Single T did. Um, he is going to spend a copper here. Copper. A villager on playing this count. Um, not entirely sure about that. Let's see, he could patron here to get the villager back and still be able to buy province. That's something. Triple patron seems like a bit too much. Okay. Yep. So now we have pretty similar decks. I assume this is ghost ship because you got to get back to this guide, right? I'm gonna play this guide. I'm gonna play this count. You're gonna top deck a province. You're gonna top deck a province. How much money do you have? He has four in play. He has one buy only because he didn't find his candlestick maker. Uh huh. sure whether that candlestick maker was worth getting. This ghost ship... I'm not also, I'm also not sure what you do here, because Storyteller Gold Copper is about as good as you're going to see. So you could either stick Storyteller Gold on top. I guess that's probably what you do. Yeah, you stick Storyteller Gold on top. And... Um, You're going to top deck this storyteller. I assume he's going to take money. I'd be wanting a crop rotation. He takes the duchy, which means he's not going to get the patron, which means he's going to be on one villager, which is probably enough. Yeah, I think I would have wanted money and oh, he's just going to go for this and then crop rotation and skip out on provincing. Okay. Well, single T really hoping that he gets ghost shipped here. And he gets bailed out. He should stick the storytellers on top. I think. What? Oh, go ship in one? Yeah, maybe. RTT, too low on villagers now. Probably needs to make a similar play to what uh, Single T did last turn. Get a patron here and a crop rotation. At which point it was probably better to top deck a prov then just maybe not. 
he just buys province. Okay. Storyteller from Extra, right? Whoa, okay. So he's going to draw everything. And then some. Single Thieves deck is significantly better, but. Um, oh, not and then some. This is exactly enough. This is well calculated then. Okay. Patron, patron. Count. Okay, discard, sure. Takes money or duchy. I don't know if you actually want to top deck green, though, because if you're going to get ghost ship attacked, then... Mm, yeah, you'd rather not have it. Yeah. So do you... Pay, I think you patron before you storyteller? Yeah. Okay, he doesn't. Okay, I mean, you gotta play count instead of ghost ship. Now, he did not find, though, a guide. So, that is very much worth noting. Um, I think I gained duchy by guide. Feels bad, man. But if I'm RTT, I really want to have a... Okay, he takes the money. He's just going to province. What? He's going to do this and crop rotate. Okay. Not having the guide might really hurt. Let's do a little math. It's pulling up a hypergeometric calculator here. What are your chances in a 19 card deck to have, uh, and there's four green cards in it. Your sample size is a five card hand. And we want to see what the chances are that you have at least one. So your 74% chance to have at least one in five card hand. Okay. Theory top decks, interesting. I assume you. Oh. So he's also out of villagers now. Well, um, is he going to go ship here? He is. So, okay, he gains a copper rather than top decking the duchy. Assume he needs to gain duchy here. Wait, he can't double, can he? Five, nine, fourteen. If he buys a poor house that costs him one and gains him. Wait, he had it, right?
yeah, I'm stupid. So he goes for it this way. Now you play patron. Single T has all the trumps here. You storyteller maximally. Same thing here. Patron, storyteller. Okay, two buys. But this is money enough anyway, right? He just counts for the money, and that's 16. Okay. Hmm. Triumph. So what? Okay. It <laughs> looks like an error. The order, the player order must have been wrong. Ooh, Masterpiece Duke, Explorer Duke. There is draw here, but there's no other gains. I actually think Duke looks good here. No trolling. Um, dungeon helps. Flag bearers, when you get them, is gonna be tricky. But I believe in Duke here for sure. Well, there is Grave Robber for extra gains. Okay, hold on. That gives you something, but if you're doing the sauna thing by yourself, um, wow, so RTT goes for it. I still don't think, I think I would go for Duke still. Um, silver, silver. When you get the flag bearers is an important question. Obviously, anytime you hit exactly four and your opponent has it, 
you're gonna get one and if you're both going for that deck but I don't believe in the sauna vanto grave rubber thing if your opponent don't also go for it oh there's there's flag bearer changeling oh yeah that's also a thing um I would have taken Masterpiece for five there, and I would take it again here. Oh, now Single T gets a Sauna? Well, I'm confused then as to what he's going for. Flag Bearer for Changeling? No, he's going for more Saunas now. Okay. Now RTT is going this way. So he decided he doesn't want a masterpiece. He gets an explorer instead. I don't understand. And the last sauna, right? Okay. Well, they both went for Sauna Vanto, which is going to make their decks look a lot better because they're going to be a lot faster. I I really don't believe in this though. Um, if you're not kind of being helped, Obviously, you're gonna just tr they're gonna be, just be trading Avantos here until they're all gone. This was a good draw for RTT. Dungeon. Discard coppers. Trash the states. I mean, trash everything except for five money, so that you can buy an Avanto. Trash one of these coppers as well. Keep the other one. RTT having the flag for so many turns is a big advantage for him. Single T takes an Avanto and cries and doesn't turn his changeling into anything. Flag bears for changeling. Okay, but now he's not going to get this last Avanto and he's going to be massively behind. Unless he feels like he's so far behind that he... Uh, no, nah, it just doesn't make sense. You should trash all these coppers, right? There's nothing you're doing with them. You could have trashed one more, right? You could have trashed more than one more. I don't understand what these coppers are for. I mean, they're probably not going to hurt that much, but I don't understand what they're doing for you. Single T just saying, I'm going to just province out. Okay. Now, this seems like it's likely to be a mistake in that he could have trashed more coppers if he would have played his dungeon earlier. Not the... Oh, maybe he couldn't have. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. It's a grave robber, and then he turns a changeling into a dungeon? Into another explorer? What? Okay. So the explorer idea is just to gain more changelings, but I'm not understanding. Now I kind of like single T's spot, I guess. Womp womp. Yeah, this is real bad for RTT. Well, he needs to grave rob something. He's still in not that bad of a shape if he says, if he like goes grave robber explorer into province by province, I guess.
Explorer. Okay, no. No, this makes sense. Then you get to take a gold. You get to trash the rest of these coppers. Don't know that I would have trashed that flag bearer because I want to be able to trash it again later. It probably won't matter though, actually, because RTT is never going to have the time. Um, gonna take an explorer back on top of his deck. Don't know. Feels kind of sketchy. Too late to Duchy Duke. Surely you trash that copper. Oh, Single T also had another flag bearer. Well, then in that case, trashing looks a lot better. By province, I would not trash that flag bearer. Mostly because it's mostly just like a silver, but it, it's pretty close. I don't know. Um, yeah, the game's very, very, very over now. I do like not playing the Sonavanto here. You don't need to, and that's why you got to shuffle them back in. I still like Duchy Duke and the things that it could do here in the abstract. Well, that's the match, everybody. Thanks for watching.